Republican Senator Lindsey Graham got loudly booed and shouted down for recommending the vaccine to his supporters. Check this out. If you hadn't had the vaccine, you're going to think about getting it because if you're my age, I didn't tell you to get it. You're going to think about it. Well, I'm glad I got it. 92% of the people in the hospitals in South Carolina are unvaccinated. How many of you have taken uh, measles shots? All right. Now, it's one thing if one or two people are shouting and booing, which I think was largely the case with the uh, the Trump rally when Trump was booed at an Alabama rally in August for suggesting his supporters get vaccinated. It wasn't the entire crowd like it was here. This is stunning to see these many people shout down Lindsey Graham just for suggesting the vaccine. But it's also kind of funny because Lindsey Graham is a horrible person he has helped to enable this sort of individual, uh, individualized thinking, not caring about a society, not caring about, you know, helping one another by getting the vaccine, ensuring you're not spreading it to other people. But here he is um, getting booed for suggesting for once to do the right thing. And the reality is here, I don't think he actually cares about his, uh, about society being healthy. If he did, then he would support Medicare for all. So everyone could get health care free at the point of views he ultimately all he cares about here is keeping his voters alive so he understands what the science is showing him as i've covered as well you look at the vaccination rates in the u.s and put that against are they trump voters or biden voters largely those that are unvaccinated 60 percent of residents not fully vaccinated trump voters so the right side largely unvaccinated left side largely biden voters and more vaccinated and that is right in line with the deaths from COVID. So COVID deaths and 2020 U.S. election vote shares. Again, red states on the right, the ones that are unvaccinated, that are, that are the ones dying. The ones on the left, vaccinated, largely not dying. So Lindsey Graham understands that he needs his supporters alive to vote for him. And they are putting their own lives at risk. Now, of course, the media is, the conservative media, a huge reason for all of this brainwashing. And this is from people who are vaccinated themselves. Tucker Carlson works for or, for an organization, Fox News, that is that has a stricter vaccine mandate than Biden's own vaccine mandate. Yet, on a weekly basis or daily basis, he is putting out vaccine misinformation to the point where uh, a daughter blamed Tucker Carlson's misinformation for her unvaxxed dad's death. And to go over what um, Fox actually has instituted in terms of their vaccine requirements. This is from Daily Beast. As Fox News incessantly rails against President Joe Biden's new vaccine and testing requirements as tyranny and authoritarianism, the network's parent company on Tuesday boasted of its own internal policies similar to those exact policies. In a memo obtained by CNN reporter Oliver Darcy, Fox Corp. Human Resources Chief Kevin Lord bragged that the vast majority of the company's workforce is now vaccinated after calling upon staffers to input their vaccination status into a company-wide database. So while Fox News on air, be it Tucker Carlson, be it Fox and Friends, are putting out vaccine misinformation, you have here Fox News itself requiring its employees to be vaccinated or get tested on a daily basis a more stricter mandate than what Joe Biden has instituted. But these people don't care. And I I don't think there's really any getting through that. Even people that have been, I covered a, a conservative voter who got COVID-19, was in the hospital, was near death, still said that he's not going to get vaccinated. When the brainwashing is that deep, there's only so much you can do.